All right, what's up, y'all? This is uh, Ray with Imperial Flame Kennels. One more time, we back at it. Uh, this video is twofold, testing out a new uh, phone, new video camera. Uh, and the other thing is um, kind of pressed on time today. So uh, we want to get the dog some quick work and, um, you know, get them settled, get all the, you know, uh, initial energy out. Normally they go running around in the woods and all of that. We don't have all of that time today. I have some pressing matters I need to address. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to get some work in. This is a little bit like flirt pole, a little bit different because I manually hold the rope and just kind of encourage them to get at it. Now, um, my female is kind of going through her whole false heat, false pregnancy thing. She just went through a heat. So the mating never happened, but she's kind of acting like she's pregnant. So she's a little slow, a little sluggish, but she's my fat girl anyway. So uh, we're going to definitely get the male his work. Um, you see him in the background a little bit back there. He's ready to work. He's whining. So let's get to it. You know, the other thing to this is definitely wouldn't try this at home. I'm on a kind of uh, vacant lot in an urban setting. Um, there's an open street here, cars going by. If I didn't have full confidence in what my dogs do and what I do with my dogs, then I wouldn't even try this. You understand? But uh, he let you know dream yourself. This is going to be a relatively short session. Um, it's hot out here. It's not hot, but it's 66 degrees. And normally we don't even work our hounds during this time of day. So we keep this brief. You see the tongue hanging, they panting already. So just a little work. All right? Be right back with you. Looking good, boy. Drop it this time. <laughs> she faked us both out. Who got it? What you got? All right, drop it. Leave it. Leave it. Penny, leave it. That was quick. All right, drop it. Leave it. Leave it. 
Girl. <laughs> you gotta be fast with him and watch your hands. For real, you gotta be fast with him. Do this some dead exercise. This is my exercise. We get it in. Like a little resistance training for the whole crew. Wait, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Penny. Penny. Leave it. She thinks she's slick. She be trying to hold on. Another very important thing. A lot of times you see people gotta run and grab the pry bar or, or the brake stick in order to get the pit bull to drop it, drop it. Um, time, consistency will allow you to teach the dog to lose something, even another dog on command. Now, don't let me be the, any, don't let me fool you. I'll be the first to tell you that another dog it's, it's a nightmare, right? Sometimes you gotta get the brake stick. Um, but for the most part, when it comes to objects, you know, and especially when you're running exercises, the dog should be able to break on command. And that's, 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 I think that's so key. All right, um, as y'all can see, see, see how my girl acting? Don't she look like a cow? You see how she acting? You know why she thinks she 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 going through that whole false pregnancy thing. She she can she gonna drop some pups soon, and it's not gonna happen because the breed never happened. In the meantime, while I chat with y'all, he gets a little breather because if you don't make them rest, especially him, see that? If you don't make him rest, he will not rest. You understand? He's quite the specimen, right? session folks he did a little work I'm gonna do a little bit more flirt and um you know one more session get her kind of moving around off her feet she ain't exercising much these days so later this evening when it's a little cooler you know depending upon how I feel take them out for a nice little hour walk you know just straight line straight up the street you know um, this way you get to kind of simulate that whole treadmill effect 
and um, there's nothing else going on, but their body's just working, just working, just in constant motion. My boy is happy as a lark out there with his joint. Let me see if I can blow this up a little bit for y'all. I ain't gonna mess with that too much. He's whining again, so it's time to work. Anytime she applies herself, she's bound to get what she's after. She just doesn't apply herself very often. She's really, really an excellent, excellent dog. He's a little bit rough for her, but uh, when she's in a when she's in a her gully moods, she definitely brings it. You know what I mean, she definitely brings it. Um, I've actually had a problem with her jumping on him. You know, like. <laughs> She's not easily dominated. Go. Leave it. Leave it. Drop it. Trying to knock her off of it is what you be doing. Stop it. Leave it. Let's go. Get it. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Good boy. <laughs> Y'all can see we get to it a little bit. This is why I dress the way that I dress. Nothing fancy here. I know exactly what happens. We get to doing what we do. There's a good chance that I'm gonna take a tumble. Um, they're pretty good at keeping me safe. Uh, only time I've ever been bitten by a dog is when I was breaking up a dog fight and I literally offered my hand in place of the dog to have something to bite as opposed to the other dog. And that's how I got bit, literally. All right, drop it. Drop it. And I only did that. Again, don't try that at home, right? Because I only did that because I knew the dog very well and I knew the dog that once it had my hand, would recognize as long as I didn't panic, as long as I didn't shake, as long as I didn't pull against, the dog would recognize my voice when I said drop it and leave it, and the dog would be able to do that, and that's exactly what happened, right? So again, not something that you try at home, but I've been around these much for a minute, and um, you know, they, 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 they work to please. They work out of love. Their whole goal is, 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 is like to please you, right? Um, can't get a good nice rest without these two pushing their way up on my pillow. It, it, it just, it's, it's a fact. Um, so their love for you, their affection is what really has them, 
You know, working so hard, just willing to go and do whatever you ask. Unfortunately, a lot of people take that to mean that these dogs are machines. And I made that mistake when I first started dealing with them. Um, didn't know how to let the dog rest. Didn't know how to read the dog and, 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 and do what was right for the dog's sake. You know, as opposed to saying, oh, look at what my dog can do. Right? Um, but they are flesh and blood. They are bone and organ. And you can only push those things so far in any organism. So, see my boy got his tongue hanging. My girl here, she got her mouth open. She ain't do too much. But now, don't let either of them fool you. They look tired, they look kind of spent, and you let something live run out here and we got a problem. Cat, raccoon, possum, gopher, groundhog, otter, shit, deer, you know? Um, so we try to be real careful with that. Um, but that's all I got for y'all today. I'm gonna thank y'all for checking in. If you, found, if you found some value in this, you know, I'm glad. I'm not asking for no likes, no subscribes, but let's just dialogue. Let's dialogue about what it takes to keep our dogs healthy, safe, and free from the bullshit legislation. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Peace. Imperial Flame Kennels, y'all. Keep the heat.